Welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I filmed some things before the vlog officially started, but um, welcome back. It is Thursday morning and I am in a, I'm in a state, I'm gonna say, I'm in a state, I'm having um, high anxiety. <laughs> so here's the situation. During Vlogmas, I made a video about um, an audition that I did in late November and how I turned a, a bad audition in, into a learning lesson and hopefully I will have what I've done what I thought was a good audition and I didn't have the results of the audition at that time. I still do not, right? Um, and it's been a grand total of like seven or eight weeks, I think, which is I'm not a long time to wait for audition results of this type. So, um, I've been going around in my head about it and, you know, kind of ruminating on it. And the, the fact of the matter is I, I'm parked in the same spot I was last night. I'm in Cambridge today. Um, at I was at rehearsal last night and, um, music director indicated that he apologized for how long it was taking to get, uh, the results for the audition and that results would be out by noon today. It is now 11, 11 o'clock. So last night when I went to sleep, I was full of anxiety and it was just something that happened. I went to sleep and I had not one, not two, but three separate dreams, nightmares, be it whatever, um, about said audition results in two of the dreams. I was unable to actually view the results. One, no, one, I didn't get anything. And like one person got all of them, which is not, not likely. And then in the next one, I wasn't, and I was unable to view the results coming in email. I was able to view everything but those emails. And then in the last dream, I got assigned a solo, but not from the work I auditioned for and I, I cried in the dream. And so when I woke up, I was upset. And uh, it's so dumb that this is like so emotionally taxing for me, but it is. So I may not ever post this clip to be honest because like, I don't want that kind of negativity in my, I don't know. Anyway, that's just what's going on right now. I'm in Cambridge this morning to help my friend um, record her uh, record. So I have my camera, I have all my equipment. So I'm just here helping her. Hopefully it'll all go well. I'm feeling a little weird. I have been congested for a couple of days and I can see now that it's overcast, which would make sense. But um, that's the only thing. And my husband is like kind of sick. I don't know. He's tends to sort of be dramatic about his illnesses, but we have not had, we have not shared an infection in hardly ever. Like I've only gotten an infection. We've only shared the same infection like once. So, um, I'm not super worried. I'm not going to stress out about it, but he is like, he sounds kind of head coldy. So that's where we are right now. <laughs> We're in the People's Republic of Cambridge. I've got a matcha latte. By the way, I love my Stanley mug, my Stanley Aero, Aero Press, Aero, not Aero Press, Aero, not Aero. I keep forgetting what this is called, but it's a Stanley cup. And I'm not gonna, listen, the Stanley cup hysteria, I find to be actually hilarious because Stanley cups have been around for decades and now, all of the young peoples, they want the Stanley Cups. And I'm not going to lie. A Stanley Cup is a good cup. Like you put your ice in there. You put your water in there. Keeps it cold till the next day. You, the next day you go to, you like shake it and it's still icy. You're like, yeah. So that way you can be like lazy and just put water in there. Keep filling it up with, I mean, it's a good cup. And this, but this cup, the warm cup, also a good cup. Like I have a few like of these warm cups because I'm a singer 
and that's what I do. I have like these, all these travel cups. It's like a thing. And um, I like this one the best. I might want another one in a different color. It's very good. Let's, let's have a, a matcha latte sip. The cap still smells like cider, like apple cider tea, because that's what I had last night. And just, I can't, how do you get rid of the smell? Baking soda? Not that I'm like upset about it, but it's weird. It's weird that it still smells like cinnamon tea because it's matcha latte here. Let's taste. That's real nice. That is real nice. So anyway, it is really cold. That's why I have this coat on. It's like 25 degrees, which is, you know, not as cold as it has been, but pretty cold still. It's an icy wonderland out. It took me like an hour to get the snow off my car today. Yesterday. Yesterday. Um... And it's very slippery. Like, it's hazardous. Be careful. Because falling, as an adult, no joke. So anyway, we'll see what happens this afternoon. I'm stressed, you guys. <laughs> I'm stressed. I'm not even going to lie and say I'm not stressed. I'm wicked stressed. Like, there's a reason I had three anxiety dreams. I don't normally have that many anxiety dreams, but my brain, I guess, was on, on, on fire, in fuego. I've never been that, like, intense in a while. Like, I went through some kind of trauma. <laughs> like, it's not, what, what happened? All I can do is wait. Hurry up and wait. All right, um, let's let's go. Uh, let's go outside. I'm gonna do for parking first. Oh my god, guys. I got it. I freaking got it. <laughs> I got the aria. Not only the aria, the recitative before the aria. It is my first time singing a whole aria, plus a recitative, in front of the choir, and getting paid to do it at Sanders Theater. <laughs> I'm so happy! I almost want to cry, but I don't want to cry. And it's, like, the best aria in the whole, like, of Bach repertoire that I can think of right now. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, it's not the best. Maybe it is the best. I don't know. It's one of my favorites. And I am dying of happiness. I am so happy. It is the best aria. I didn't even tell you what I got. <laughs> I am singing Aus Liebe in the St. Matthew Passion. So I'm doing both the recitative and the aria. And... I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've never had an opportunity like this, and I feel like I've waited so long <laughs> for an opportunity like this, and I am so happy right now. I put so much energy into that audition, like you don't even know. I had three coachings, a couple of voice lessons. I did a whole bunch of like historical, biblical, like research back work and um, like musical work to like be as like expressive and know as much about what I was singing as possible because um, I was not, I, I never had to like read the Bible as a child or I never did it as an adult. So I, I needed to familiarize myself with what actually was going on and what the references mean. And I'm actually finding it like a really enjoyable experience to inform myself about um, biblical texts and things like that. And um, St. Matthew Passion is the passion story. So this is the story of Christ's um, entrance into to Jerusalem and then his crucifixion. So between that um, those parts of the story and it's very dramatic work, very dramatic piece of music and it's one of my favorite things on earth to perform because it's just incredible and 
I am, I can't, but it's like I need somebody to pinch me because I'm really excited. The only thing is I'm like not, I'm not good at the recitative that comes before the aria, so I have to do some work on that, but I mean, I have a whole month to get my stuff together, so, y'all. <laughs> I have a freaking solo. Like, what? Me? What do I do now? <laughs> get a dress! No, I, I have things to wear, so... I'm just gonna like enjoy my lunch and bask in the glow of of yay. Alright, I'll talk to you later. It is Monday afternoon, it's about 12.30, I'm about to eat some lunch, but we're going to do probably the piano moving project today because I can't send him my piano uh, where it is right now. It's going to be crazy, but I'm about to eat some lunch. I made some roast chicken and some vegetables. So right here there's roast chicken. This is boneless, skinless chicken thigh. I don't really care for it, but I'm going to eat the rest of it that Butcher Box sent. Always get bone in from now on and skin on, I don't know. And some broccoli and cauliflower rice that I heated up and we're just gonna have some water with it. So that that is that. Clover went to the vet this morning. Oh, I think he went downstairs. Clover Clover went to the vet this morning for the first annual and it was expensive. Y'all, it was like seven hundred and fifty dollars. I ca I cannot with that. I just pets are not cheap. They're not cheap. Uh get pet insurance. That is not covered because that was just like his annual, but like wow. Um so we're gonna have to we're just gonna have to do some more work this year. Anyway, I'm gonna settle down, eat my lunch, watch the rest of the show that I'm watching, and we're gonna do the piano moving project because that's, I've gotta do it, gotta do it. can't even see what's going on because like there's a plant in the way <laughs> uh, everything's pretty much in place I just have to rearrange some stuff the shelving here um, but it's looking pretty good I'm gonna it's probably gonna take me like 
another hour to clean this all up, but um, I'll be back with you then. Well, here it is. It's a couple of days later, but I had to consolidate a bunch of shelves. So the plants are like a little, they're tight, but the keyboard is in place and my electric piano is there. I've been having fun going through some Suzuki piano books <laughs> because I grew up learning from these as a kid and I haven't played in years and years and years. So I was going through and trying to see how much I remember and my muscle memory kind of is there, but like I really need to practice because I'm not very good. So this is only Suzuki book two. I printed these from online. So um, having a lot of fun though, it is really fun. My space heater is on, so you guys can hear that in the background. Look at my cinema roll sweater, by the way. Is this not adorable? I got this at Target and I'm so excited about it. So I've had a few days to like digest everything. So I've been pretty busy for the last few days, but I have to say some really exciting opportunities are um, they're happening, so I'm really excited. I'm not gonna like say everything, but uh, some of it's gonna give me the right push to do some of the things I've been wanting to do for so long, so I'm really excited. Um, but I've had a few days to sit with the, um, the whole audition results thing because I have been agonizing over those for weeks. And not only that, but like writing in my journal about it for weeks. Um, and I've just been needing something like this to happen. I don't, I mean, there were like a lot of conversations during a carpool I had with a friend who is a colleague who also did the same audition. And we were talking about um, how it felt to sort of not feel like you fit in um, any kind of music scene or you know, and feeling, just having like weird feelings about singing and what it kind of does to you psychologically. And the thing that's nice about talking to a colleague who is a friend is that it's sobering and can give you some perspective that it's not just you who feels like that, that like everyone goes through those kinds of things. Um, again, singing is very personal, like it's, it's you instrument. And um, what I, what I really needed was something good to happen, and finally it did. So I'm really looking forward to um, taking a stab at an entire aria for the first time ever, uh, ever. I can't believe I am singing. Uh, did I describe, did I tell you what I was doing? I'm doing Aus Liebe in St. Matthew Passion, both the recitative and the aria, and I'm super, super honored. It's one of the most iconic and heartbreaking pivotal points in the entirety of the St. Matthew Passion. And it's so special. It's such a special aria because um, the entire basso continuo, and if, if this is music speak, but like the basso continuo in Bach music is, or in Baroque music in general, is the, like the bottom bass line. And it's kind of like an anchor for all of the rest of the instruments. It's usually like lower strings, um, organ, uh, or any kind of like keyboard instrument, any kind of lower tessitur instrument. So, and it plays this bottom line like bum, 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 bum. Boom, 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 boom. That's just an example of like a basso continuo line I made up and everything above it is either the melody or some harmonies or like little uh, fugal moments. It's just like, it's kind of the base for everything. It's like, boom. And it's present throughout all of Bach's music, uh, of course, because it was standard for the time. And this aria is really special because there is no basso continuo. It just completely drops out and it makes you feel like uh, the world is turned of turned upside down. There are three instruments that play with a singer. Three. It's that. It's very exposed, very bare bone. It's two oboes and a flute. Um, and the, the oboes are sort of playing basso continuo, but they don't normally play basso continuo. So they're, they've put in, they've been put in this really odd basso continuo role where they're just going bum, 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 bum. It's very steady. And the flute has this gorgeous 
melodic line and it's beautiful and it's just the singer and the flute doing any melodic activity throughout the entire thing um, and it's just heartbreaking and stunning and um, I'm very honored to be given the responsibility of handling this particular material. Uh, so, um, am I nervous? Not really. I've been polishing this aria for like 10 years, so I'm more excited. I'm more excited to finally, like, I've never sung it in public except for at auditions. And um, I'm really excited to like do a performance. I'm super excited. So the only thing I'm really concerned about getting is the the rich chief beforehand. Um, I, I don't really know it that well and I'd like to get it in my body as much as the aria is, but I'm super, I'm just, fill, I my heart is full and tonight we have our first rehearsal since all the solos have been assigned and I just have to say the solo assignments were like spot on. I like I went through all the solo assignments and the great thing about singing in an ensemble where you know everyone personally is that you can picture everyone singing what particular aria and it's just it's like spot on. It's so it's going to be like really incredible. So um it won't be live streamed. It will be um you can come in person if you would like um or you can watch I think it might be on YouTube after the fact, um, but I'll let you know. Anyway, I'm super thrilled, super thrilled. I even got a new dress. I absolutely think I'm gonna wear this velvet dress. Look at the front, it's so pretty. Um, and it's got uh, pockets. We love, we love a pocket moment. We love a pocket moment. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wear this one. I haven't worn a velvet dress in so long. I absolutely used to have a velvet dress like a choir dress. What happened to her? I don't know. If you sing in a choir, you are required to have a long black dress, usually with either short sleeves or three-quarter length sleeves or long sleeves, whatever. Um, and I always am tired of having the same one, so I have several of them because I just get tired of wearing the same one every time. So um, all musicians <laughs> have like an assortment of different black clothes. And I just think it's funny that like I only have like a few that fit right now because I, I went through some size changes, you know, anyway, so like I'm now like acquiring new, new coral dress ensemble pieces. Anyway, um, so that is that. I think I'm going to end the vlog now <laughs> because I feel like I have like been all over the place with the vlog. I'm gonna make some granola, I think, this afternoon. And then it's gonna be yoga time, and then it's time for rehearsal. So I'm I'm looking forward to tonight. It's gonna be great. My husband, I guess, I, I, I probably have said this earlier, has been sick for the last like five days, and I, I'm surprised I haven't caught it. But that's, I guess that's the way we roll. Look at the, look at the tree, isn't that cute? I love the tree. I love that I kept that tree up. I think it's gonna stay up at least until spring or maybe even next Christmas, I don't know. It's so, it's so cute. All right, I will pick up with this vlog. What? I will pick up the next vlog where this one dropped off. Um, so I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. I hope this vlog was okay. <laughs> It's like, it's like a patchwork of thrown together clips. Listen, I'm still trying to get this together. I'm still trying to like get the hang of this, but um, I look forward to talking to you soon and I'll see you later.